Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. This video is about Docker, what Docker is, what the benefits are, uh, why do people use it, and uh, I'm going to touch on a little bit on uh, uh, what the recent announcements have been for Docker so uh, you can get a deep dive into uh, what it means for you as a business if you're already used, utilizing Docker. So let's get started. To begin with, I would like to say that uh, Docker is sort of a de facto standard for containerization. I'm sure you've you've uh, come across this term if you're associated with DevOps or uh, or DevSecOps in general uh, in your in your career or even your work life uh, in uh, you know at the company that you work for. Um, uh, what Docker is is essentially a, a platform to be able to. Uh, utilize a container platform, uh, utilize a container based uh, architecture more efficiently, more effectively uh, and with a, a few benefits associated to it, right? So uh, it simplifies the way that we consume containers uh, at an infrastructure level, at, uh, at a desktop level as well and uh, it comes with a lot of its benefits uh, in the process. So let's touch on the basics of it, uh, you know, why uh, uh, you know, people use Docker in the first place and uh, how it's beneficial for, for businesses in general. So think of it as, uh, as a, a sort of a blank sheet of paper, right? So this is a, a piece of paper. And uh, this piece of paper can be related to anything that you want to deploy on your infrastructure as modern day architecture, right? So the reason I mentioned a blank sheet of paper is because Docker has the ability to write anything on that blank piece of paper, right? So uh, it can actually, uh, you know, specify via a image module that it uses to be able to deliver precisely what uh, you need to deliver for a specific application, uh, run it for a specified period, bring it down, share with people, etc. So all of it, uh, can be termed as as simple as putting a service on a blank piece of paper and just uh, utilizing it on your infrastructure that you uh, that you have. Now, um, uh, to to bring into uh, into perspective the the core benefits of uh, using Docker, uh, I would like to first you know uh, obviously say that it's it's a software which is used for non commercial purpose. This has been the legacy for uh, for uh, for Docker. It was uh, essentially a open source tool, right? I'll touch on what this means later on in the video when I touch on the subscription model and what it means for businesses and enterprises, etc. On the other hand, the uh, the main purpose is to have better control. What do you have better control of? You have better control of uh, deploying your applications, doing your implementation uh, for a specific container based environment. And at the same time, uh, you know, you make sure that you are able to isolate your containers in your environment, right? Which is essentially very important for businesses to do today because it shouldn't really overlap with uh, uh, in terms of capacity planning or having shared resources etc in a specific infrastructure so isolation it is what it does really well uh, then i'd like to touch upon the level of automation involved this is one of the core reasons why people use docker uh, for the simple uh, fact that you can automate anything and everything if you have the right code written on the docker image and all that you have to do is is use the docker module and automate at scale you can build container apps at scale and you can you know uh, even bring them down at scale as in when you are done utilizing the the software so automation is key one more very important point is that it's very lightweight which means as opposed to a traditional virtual machines ba based architecture, you don't really spend a lot of time to uh, spin up a specific virtual machine, add RAM to it, install an OS, add uh, you know specific components to it, the, add a binary, etc. All of that doesn't happen. Here, it's simply a lightweight image which gets deployed and you're up in minutes. Right? That's that's how fast you can, you can scale uh, you know, when it comes to Docker. Um, uh, you can have multiple 
containers on different platforms which means as a business you might be using let's say cloud providers uh, such as Azure or AWS you may be using Red Hat you may be using VMware or something else right all of this doesn't matter because uh, you can deploy apps across every uh, different kind of infrastructure that there is um, one more very important thing is that you can deploy services very easily with uh, with docker and at the same time you can have specific health checks done for these services now health checks can be uh, you know uh, to be able to check how fault tolerant your system is uh, you can check uh, how efficiently you are able to scale how fast it's working how efficiently it's working and if there is something that's uh, not working right you can simply remove that isolated module I spoke about and replace it with something else so uh, most of these are the core features of, of docker but one of the most important things that people use docker for is the ability to share now imagine a very complex architecture which someone really worked on for their own environment their own company and that's not available for everybody else to utilize right with docker images you you have the ability to share with the uh, other group of users within your company or outside the company if you want to and that ready-made image of something that has already been deployed when when it comes to containerization for docker can be utilized by that person and modified as uh, as in when they uh, they have the need to uh, this is a very strong uh, reason why people continue to use docker as a technology and it adds that element of collaboration it adds that element of uh, flexibility and not having to do repetitive work from scratch uh, and just leverage someone else's good work uh, you know just by virtue of sharing with each other so this is uh, you know something that i wanted to touch on as far as uh, docker uh, what it is and what uh, what it really means for you um, one important thing that has transpired over the past few weeks is that docker has change the subscription plan uh, for uh, for businesses in general so earlier as i mentioned in my uh, in my first point here it used to be non commercial uh, open source tool but now they've made an announcement that any company with have which have 250 plus employees this is not a docker user count it's a employee count so it could be maybe only 10 uh, technical users but maybe 300 employees it still qualifies under that cr uh, criteria second criteria is more than 10 million dollars in revenue right so if you have upwards of 10 million dollars in revenue then you have to purchase the commercial license for docker and this change essentially happened at uh, uh, at an international level where a press release was was pushed out and all of these terms and conditions are mentioned in uh, you know uh, the, the press release that uh, that came out uh, but people are not really aware of this change they don't really know what it means for them because it, it has come with a deadline for 31st of January 2022 if you're using docker today and you're not paying for it it's an open source tool for you but you fall in this criteria as a company you either have 250 employees or more and you have more than 10 million dollars in revenue after 31st of january docker will start to uh, audit and do compliance checks for all of the uh, users at a worldwide level so they have the full list of users they can push out this compliance and audit check at any given point in time but until 31st of January they've given this grace period to be uh, uh, for users to be able to self declare that I fall in this category and I want to buy a specific subscription and there are uh, mainly uh, uh, three types of plans three types of subscriptions which I'll uh, mention in the, the description below I'll just uh, put in a URL for it so you understand what what it really means for you but if you have this as as one of the if you fall in this category 
please feel free to get in touch with us and uh, and we can actually help you out uh, we can consult on what kind of plan you should opt for and whether you really need to buy in the first place because it's not relevant for education or non commercial uh, organizations it's really relevant for businesses enterprises using all of this for commercial use so uh, this was docker uh, its benefits and its uh, overall subscription plan change in a nutshell if you have any questions please feel free to write it in the comments below happy to welcome your feedback as well until next time this is pritesh signing off from cloud tech talks thank you have a good day bye bye